Hey guys, this is a 1981 Toyota pickup SR5 with the 22R. Um, I was having an issue with the truck. It was um, overcharging uh, the battery. When I was running, it was charging up to the highest it got, 18 volts. And it was idling. Uh, once you turned it on, it would just start spiking up 13, 12, I'm sorry, 12, 13, 14, 15, and so on. Once it would hit like 18, I was turn it off just to avoid any damage so i replaced the alternator once and then twice with the remanufacturer from uh, o'reilly's um and prior to that i actually went ahead and and uh changed the voltage regulator um also from o'reilly's um i changed it actually three times but before that, when I purchased the truck, I had to change it to actually this one's actually the same one it came with. Um, and I went ahead and I swapped them off one, two, then the alternator back and forth. And the car was still, the truck, I'm sorry, was still actually overcharging. Um, I checked the wire, the harness, see if anything was torn, nothing was fine. I checked all the way in the bottom of the chassis. Um, the truck had some sound system that the left cables on the truck inside. So I went ahead and I took them off and thinking it was probably the issue. Maybe it was ground or something or, or something was actually up with that. But no, it wasn't. Um, long story short, the voltage regulator. This is actually another one I'm going to return back. Um, and this is the one that came with the truck itself. On the OEM, you could actually adjust the voltage regulator. So on these aftermarket, this is from O'Reilly's. I'm assuming AutoZone has them as well the same. Probably it's on the same company manufacturer. This is a what is it? Uh, import direct. And on the OEMs, you could adjust a little arm for the voltage. I saw that on YouTube as well. Well, on these, the arms are a little bit different, but the difference was that um, on the voltage regulator, on let me see, on this one right here, this little bolt here, a little bolt there. You go ahead and you loose it up, the arm goes up and down and actually lets you adjust the voltage. So after I adjusted that, I was able to, with the voltmeter reading and the battery, I was able to adjust the voltage. So from being uh, all the way up to 18, I was able to calibrate it to what, 13, 13, 2, um, and it's been running fine. So if you guys ever buy one of these aftermarkets, keep in mind that I'm assuming some of these are just pre already set to certain voltage. Cause this one actually is for a Toyota Celica, Tercel, Toyota Pickup, and another SUV as well, I think from Toyota. So I'm assuming they're calibrated to a certain voltage. Um, so I found out that cause I was having a headache trying to figure out. So to anybody that's having an issue, these aftermarket ones, this little bolt here that you could adjust and um, have your voltage to whatever you want to set it at. And after that, um, it worked. The voltage, the charging light um, turned off. Probably still have to work a little with the idle. But um, lights off. I had turned it on a couple of minutes ago. Um, right now it's at 13. Once it gets a little bit warmer, it hides up. It rises up a little bit. Probably have to adjust it a little bit more, but. Have any issues, problems? Keep in mind that these aftermarkets, nobody told me the guy in the auto parts store, they didn't know. Um, you're able to um, adjust them. But at least this particular brand that imports direct. Um, yeah, man. Keep that in mind, guys, so you guys don't have a hard time when it comes to maybe fixing your car or truck, these old ones. Um, other than that, it's running cool, it's running good. 
shore bent. Interior in its work. But it'll get there. Toyota, Toyota.